Working as fast as you can to make those deadlines isn't always easy. That's why you need to use shortcuts to speed up your workflow. Follow along and learn 20 shortcuts to make your life easier. Also, if you're a Mac user, the control and alt key I'm going to talk about are your command and options key. So with that said, let's press some keys. Our first shortcut is control N, which will allow us to make a new composition. And if you are new to After Effects, prepare yourself to use a lot of compositions in your projects. So here's a quick way to do so. The second shortcut is one that I use a lot. Control Shift D. It will split up your layers into two pieces. You're going to make a cut or an edit. Just go to the clip where you need to make a split and boom, it's done. Now the third one is actually not a key binding, but more of a mouse button. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, just click on it and hold it down. Now you can move your preview window around without having to manually toggle the hand tool on or off. This way it will automatically switch back to the last tool that you had selected once you release the scroll wheel. Sticking to the scroll wheel, when you use your scroll wheel and hold down the alt key you can easily zoom in and out so there's no need to use an awkward zoom tool what makes this also different from the normal scrolling without the alt key is that you can zoom to a specific location in your preview window and not just the center the next shortcut is to reset your viewport if you zoomed in too much press shift and slash this will reset your view so it uses the maximum space of your viewport it will also automatically scale the view of your footage when you resize your window the sixth shortcut is the asterisk key and by by pressing this key, you can add markers to your timeline. Very handy if you want to set a reminder for later or you need a reference point. If you hold down the Alt and press the asterisk key, you can set a specific marker on the layer that you currently have selected. You can even add text and color to keep things organized. All right, the following shortcut is the L key. With this, you can quickly open up the audio properties from your footage without having to open up all the other properties of that layer. This way, you've got a simple and quick access to the audio waveforms. The next one is also a shortcut that you will probably need a lot. If you want to easy ease your keyframes, press F9. There is no need to right click all the time and navigate your way through the options. You can also hold the shift or control shift depending if you want to ease in or ease out your keyframes. Upcoming we have the F4 key which will show or hide the switches and modes columns for your layers. When you hold down shift and F4 you can also toggle the pattern and link column very handy if it disappeared on you. Okay the next shortcut will save you hours of time and that is using the story blocks plugin you can literally click and download an animation preset transitions or stock video straight from the plugin and boom that just took me a few seconds thank you story blocks so much for sponsoring this video now imagine you dropped your camera off a cliff trying to get the perfect nature shot yeah in that case you should have used Storyblocks. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images and more, you can download unlimited high quality assets for one predictable subscription cost so you can say goodbye to paperclip pricing. Enhance your social media videos by accessing exclusive label music tracks directly in TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. Storyblocks will keep you protected from copyright strikes so that you can focus on what actually matters creating. Besides that, you can save hours with pre-made motion graphic templates for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash After Effects Basics or just click the link down below. All right, now I'm going to show you some more amazing shortcuts. Shortcut number 10. To quickly create a new solid layer, press Ctrl and Y. You can also do the same thing for adjustment layers by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Y. This will instantly create a new adjustment layer for you to work with. And by the way, after you've created a solid layer and have it selected, press Ctrl, Shift, I to go to the properties of the solid and change perhaps the color from it. Now, are there missing some shortcuts that you find really important? Well, just let us know in the comments. All right, the next shortcut that can come in handy is Control alt t This will instantly enable the time remapping option for your selected layer. Now, what if you want to fit your layer perfectly in your composition? For number 12, you can press Control alt f This will automatically resize your selected layer perfectly into the preview window. Though if you are working with footage that is larger than your composition, this will scale it down. Up next is the U key. This will show all the keyframes that are on the selected layers without having to go through all of the other 
properties. I highly recommend to add this one to your arsenal. To change your work area and timeline, stop dragging the start and end levers. Instead, use the B and the end key to determine the beginning and the end of your work area. Now you can preview only this part of your footage by pressing zero on the numpad. If you want to trim your clips, press the Alt and bracket keys. This will trim your clip at the time indicator, so you don't have to manually drag the cut to where you want it. Shortcut 16. To quickly navigate to the text or previous frame, press Ctrl and the left or right arrow key. Perfect for when you need to be really precise in your project. Alternatively, you can also press the page up and page down key. And talking about being precise, if you need to have an exact position in your scene, you can add rulers by pressing the Ctrl R key. You'll then see these ruler bars pop up. Simply click and drag out from these bars to your footage to create a guideline. The next shortcut is a follow-up for the guidelines. If you don't want to see these anymore, you can just hide them by pressing Ctrl and then the semicolon key. You can also hide the layer controls by pressing Ctrl Shift and H. This will often be less necessary, but it can come in handy when you have a lot of motion in your project, making everything less cluttered. Another tip for when you are working with audio is holding down the control key when you are scrolling in the timeline. This is handy when you need to work on a specific audio cue or just want it to be more precise. You can also actually hear the audio frame by frame. And last but not least, we have the control shift and V combination, which will hide every layer except the one that's selected. When you're working on bigger projects, it can be a pain in the ass to manually hide all all of those layers one by one. So this is a real time saver. Now as a bonus I added a super handy document in the description down below. In here you will find an overview with all the shortcuts mentioned. Check the video right here on my left if you can't get enough from learning everything that has to do with After Effects. Thank you guys so much for watching.